Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I want to kind of apologize for my absence in the last few weeks. Um, I don't really talk about it much in this video, but it's been an, a doozy of an emotional few weeks. And everybody has those days, so I've been kind of creatively stumped and also I've there's been a lot of family issues with me recently um so i kind of feel like the wind has been knocked out of my sails and also my sleep hasn't been that good eating hasn't been that good so i apologize for my small hiatus and i want to be back at um posting consistently because i really do enjoy it and I just want to say that I'm grateful for you guys, for your support of me and my channel. Uh, I really do appreciate it. We're a small little community. And I like it. I, I really appreciate you guys. So thank you. I forgot to say in this video that I will say now. Yesterday I shipped out my first Granny Square blanket to my friend for her wedding. Um, I am sad that my husband and I couldn't make it, uh, to her wedding for financial reasons. Um, but I had still made the granny square blanket and I wanted to give it to her and her fiance. So I shipped it out yesterday. It should get there on Monday. So everything should be cool with that. And yeah, I made a TikTok about it and I also posted it here on YouTube. Um, but after this clip, I will insert the TikTok so you guys can see it was it was a, a bittersweet <laughs> farewell to my first granny square blanket. It turned out amazing. I um, didn't exactly weave in all the ends, but I tied it off good and uh, secured it. And I really hope she likes it. So right here right now, I'm, I'm working on the granny square blanket that will be for me and my husband when we get our apartment here soon this winter, hopefully. I'm shipping off my first granny square blanket today, sending it to a friend as a gift. some thrift store therapy. I want to lose myself in the thrift store, so we're going to Savers. Savers. There's a lot of people here today and it's pretty loud, but the first place I usually like to come to is the book section and see what they have. There's a lot of... I just spotted... It's going to knock it's in pretty good condition. Three dollars and forty-nine cents. Yeah. And I also just saw a man called Oath. Oh. So they've got some pretty, pretty good titles in this savers. I'm gonna see if there's something that I like, maybe something popular, or something that looks good. Hey guys. Uh, sorry for the limited, <laughs> limited thrift store footage. Um, shortly after that last clip, I got very overstimulated. And I don't usually get overstimulated in thrift stores, uh, but I, I did. <laughs> Hello. In this savers in particular, I don't know if it's something about like the smells and the sounds or something, but. I usually get like overstimulated and feel slightly dizzy and nauseous. I don't know what that is, but if you can relate, let me know. So I didn't film any. I'll see you in there, baby. Huh? I'll see you in there. Hey. Hey. Love you. Love you too. Yeah. Um, so I didn't film any after that, but I wanted to give you a little haul of what I got because 
what's a thrift store video without a haul? <laughs> anyway, so um, the two books, I didn't end up getting any books, but I wanted to show the books that were there. There was the Chris and Hannah one, and then uh, What the What was it? Or wh What is the What? Or something like that. Um, I saw that book at Barnes & Noble like a year ago, and I was interested in it. And then Chris and Hannah is Chris and Hannah. Um, I didn't end up getting any books because I have some books that I'm reading right now, or that are... I'm in the middle of reading, I don't need any more, but I also, I want to take a break from Kristen Hannah because I like her writing and everything, but I've already read like three of her books, four, so I feel like it's, it's not that new and fun anymore, but the stuff I did get, I got some clothes, because I'm starting a new job next week, and I'm going to be working with my husband, and he's doing some marketing, um, we're going to be co-publishers on this magazine, which is going to be pretty cool, so there's going to be, like, appointments that I'll be going to, and I can't wear this t-shirt or, you know, just, like, a t-shirt and jeans that I have here, so I was like, let me just get some clothes that are going to be a little bit nicer. It's, like, I don't know what's less than business casual, but nice casual, I don't know, something that's, like, I care, but I'm also chill, so... I got this, this is really cute, <laughs> it's like a little um, button up knit top. Right now I'm also in between sizes so I'm kind of confused, <sighs> I was going through it a little bit but I hope these fit, I haven't tried them on because after COVID all the thrift stores took away the freaking dressing rooms which is so annoying, like why don't they just put them right back but, so I'm gonna try these on in the bathroom and hopefully they fit. Um, so yeah, I like, I like this one. The little buttons are like, kind of pearlish, shiny, and I feel like it's nice. A nice, basic, white, short sleeve. <laughs> um, I'm excited about this one actually, this one's cute. Um, the brand is Grade and Gather, I've never heard of that, but this is a linen, like, wide top, which is kind of nice. I've never had anything like that before. Um, the print, oops, the print is like that. So that's cute. And I definitely wanted to get things that I would also wear normally. Because I, I'm, I guess the key about minimalism is, what I was saying was, like, I feel like the key to minimalism is if you can have pieces that are versatile for, like, um, nicer wear, but then also casual wear, and things that, that mix well. So, I feel like this linen, I'm just crumbling it, but this is a good piece for that. And then the last thing I got, I keep getting interrupted by people walking by, but the last thing I got, I needed to get a pair of pants to go with this, and <laughs> this might not be all the way correct, but, so these, these are... Athleta, and uh, yeah, they're they're outdoor pants, but they also are like nice enough to kind of be <laughs> dressed up for the purpose that I need them for. And on top of that, they're great for hiking. They're great for loungewear, exercising. So again, like the versatility. So that's my little haul. I spent eighteen dollars, and I'm sad because of like inflation and thrift store prices. Because this, this was like old school price. This was $3.49, this, the button down thing. But these two were like $7 each. But whatever, it's 2024. So I guess you just gotta make more money to afford the prices now. So anyway, um, thank you for watching my video. I uh, apologize for the gap. I, it's been a rough week for me, but I'm gonna get on, get back on my grind a little bit, although I am starting a new, jo a new job, so I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you for supporting me and watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. So, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.